Yo, what up, everybody? Dilly Dilly. It's Saturday. You know what that means. eBay Bonanza. It's time to do another one. We're going to be doing 2017 playoff football. That is a half case break number 13. So uh, so come join me. Let's do that. Now, new thing I've been doing. I've been putting the name on the screen of the break I'm doing. Usually do that with a store only, but uh, tired of asking, answering the same question over and over and over. There we go. Hey, listen. As long as that, as I'm just trying to help. That's all. I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, get on you guys or nothing like that. I just want you guys to get the most. For your, you know, you know what I'm saying? I just want you to have the most moolah you possibly can have. That's all. Not, not trying to be an, uh, uh, a negative Nancy or nothing like that. And, uh, as usual, good luck, everybody. You heard the man. Playoff football. It is time. Looking at a auto and a relic per box on average. Let's see what that's about. Uh, my name BR for fun is uh, Uncle Jesse, aka Cardboard Moses, aka your favorite breaker's favorite breaker, aka Cardboard Zeus. AKA Rookie Breaker of the Year for 2017. AKA Mama There Goes That Breaker. AKA No, I Won't Be Your Stepdaddy. Uh, no, okay, Dave, see, the Pokemon folks are not breaking tonight. Uh, I believe he's back tomorrow. I appreciate that, BR, for fun. Even if you are just, uh, you know, making fun, hey, I appreciate it. Flattery will get you everywhere in this world. Ho, 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 Daisy! That was a good one. That was a good one i'm glad you know the situation there dude that is a funny situation but i don't know man i, I think yeah i think he's with his lady friend oh this is true chris fitz especially if you get it from uh the first generation first edition and if it has a real good uh, grading, this card sells for stupid money. Kind of makes me regret, uh, regret, regret giving away my collection when I was, when I was little. Well, that's some nice stuff. But I digress. Playoff time. Oof, I remember this. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see what we get. I think uh, that's just an insert. To 299, Phil Sims for the Giants. I appreciate that, BR. To 299, Cooper Rush, Cowboys. Uh, yeah, Tomas, that's fairly accurate statement. Fairly accurate statement. Uh, Shimshack, uh, I've already promised them to, uh, to a stripper I'm gonna see later tonight. She's like, ooh, when you come back from work, baby, can you, can you bring me all them kid reporter cards and just fling it at me? I was like, sure. To 99, that triple, uh, Panther business right there.
damn Fitzy, and you and you kept that stuff. Well, I forget. We're the same age, man. When uh, when I was growing up, I was kind of a a bully's bully. I would bully the bullies. So I would steal from the kids that stole from other kids. I was kind of like a Robin Hood. I had like a Robin Hood situation going on. Christian McCaffrey with the optic autograph. That is a nice card right there. That's a nice card right there. Yeah, what, 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 some elephant. Oh, that must be from the newer generation. Was it one of those cards where, like, the artwork was, like, all over the card kind of deal? I forget what, what they call those. The, the full art or whatever. Optic and playoff, apparently. To 149. Rookie Stallion. CJ Bethard. Patch for the Niners. Yeah, apparently there's Optic and playoff. I had no idea myself. Playoff momentum insert. To 25, Joey Boza. Chargers. Oh, Don fan. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Man, my childhood. I should have never gave away those Pokemon cards, man. God. You know, oddly enough, K Daisy, I know exactly what you're talking about. to throw this in here. Perfect. I still have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. I still have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. Uh, I just don't know... If I should like even bother selling them, I got some okay cards, nothing crazy. Most of the cards I have are banned now because I used to actually play the card game. Oh, Daisy, that would be pretty dope. A Pokemon display case? What? And you can make the display the display case kind of look like a Pokeball open. That'd be kind of cool. Well, they banned certain cards because uh, it just made the game either way too easy or just way too hard, depending on what side of the uh, of the equation you're on. You know, I like half of the deck I, I used to run is banned cards, which uh, actually I'm gonna go home and see what I have. Maybe I have something that's worth some moolah. I don't even know. To 149, Marlon Mack patch for the Colts. To 199, Derek Carr, Raiders. I could never get into Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'll be honest, man. I'm a huge nerd. Uh, so in high school, I used to actually go to like an anime club and stuff too. Where we'd, we'd talk about anime and then we'd also play like, you know, games and stuff. 
and I would see kids playing Magic the Gathering, and I would sit there and I try to understand the game like just from observing it, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but they was getting into it. And I can always appreciate some, you know, the competitive juices flowing. Uh, K Daisy, you 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 you're not lying. Cracked ice juju sold for six hundred plus. Damn, son. Muy bueno. This is actually muy bueno too. Check this out. Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson with the dual auto. What? Ra ra, pretty much. But I would still get mine. I'm telling you, man. I was a nerd, but it was really low key. Like now, I don't care. But in high school, it was all about. Oh, you know, I gotta look cool, you know, for the girls and. I can't let them know I'm a nerd. I can't let them know that I'm into this. You know. So I'll, I'll show up after school. <clears throat> That's so nice. I had to grab a fresh pack of uh, Top Loader just for it. Whoever got the Lions is going to get a really nice card. Perfect. That's pretty sweet. So sweet, in fact, that uh, showcase that thing. Can't really see it, but it's there. All right. Did I go through these? I don't think I did. Nope. To two ninety nine, Bo Jackson Raiders. Damn it! And only an eight point five. You're not the only one that feels that way, K. Daisy. Davis Webb to two ninety nine for the Giants. I personally think he's gonna be a baller. But I agree. Now is the time to uh, to to sell him while he's still hot. Cause God forbid that injury is a little worse than we think it is. It is. He comes back and he's no bueno. Duly noted, Fitz. Duly noted. That was ugly. Yeah, RG3 trying to make a comeback. If you ain't know. Yeah, Luck, didn't he like hurt his neck or something like that? What up, Andrew? What are we doing? It's up here. Playoff football for eBay. Ah, the good old vagina injuries. The good old, good old. Uh, Andrew, to be quite honest with you, not really, man. Although I do have some Topps Volts uh, personal envelopes up on our website. But as far as case breaks, flawless ba uh, baseball is the only thing I have. And that's at 24 teams left. Nowhere near close to filling. Mike Evans to 299 for the books. Two 
299 Buddha Baker Cardinals. We got Von Miller to 25 with a patch. It's a nice patch on there considering three colors on that. There you go. Very nice. Oh, Jay Cutler. Oh, Dolphins. Hassan Reddick, 8 out of 10 for the Cardinals. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Top load. There you go. Cardinals with a hit. What else can we get? Yo, Shim Shack with a hit. There you go. To 199. Mark Ingram of the Saints. To 99, Alshon Jeffrey. Eagles. Eagles might win tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be fun. Football tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Dolphins traded Tannehill? Are you, for, are you for real? Oh, wait. Dolphins drafted Tannehill. I thought you said traded. Man, I was going to say, bro. Don't, don't do that to me. I read that as traded. I was like, Dolphins traded Tannehill? What? I got really happy. I got really happy. Hmm, except for that box. Playoff football. Y'all having fun yet? Uh, Monday or Tuesday fits. Absolute. Is that the one from the store? I believe so. I don't think we have done Absolute through, uh, through eBay in a little minute. Yeah, that'll go Monday. That'll go Monday. The latest Tuesday. Because uh, we're a little backed up with sorts here. As we kind of do on the weekends. But that's been sorted for a while. Fitz, so that will go Monday. Yeah, I was just going to say. That's been sorted already. Just got to ship it. And I heard it take bad pictures. <laughs> go you know I got a feeling that that Chronicles basketball that's coming out is going to be kind of fire I think it's going to be kind of fire uh, why wouldn't they be fits to 299 Obi Melifongo Raiders Dennis Smith Jr one of the most balling rookies right now playing for the Mavericks Got Josh Jones to 199 for the Packers. There we go. What's in this?
Wah, wah. 189, Deion Sanders for the Cowboys. To 25, Kurt Warner, Cardinals. Oh, dude, Jason Tatum's also a baller. But he's in trade talks. He is in trade talks. So he might not even be a Celtic. Not that it really matters, but it kind of does matter. To 299, Allen Robinson, Jags. Right, Fitz. Which, if that trade was to happen, man, Celtics going to be dangerous. Randall chilling in the mile hot. Wait, hold on. You're in Denver or you're in the, are you like on a plane or something? To 149, Kenny G with a patch of the lines. What else? This to be had. Mm. All right, nothing there. Three boxes down. Oh, using that Denver. I'm going to go visit one of these days. There's a couple sites I want to see in Denver. Mainly their international airport. There, there's some funny business going on out there. And I want to see if I can breathe out there. Yeah, man, Celtics got uh, Tatum on the trade block. Potentially trying to get Anthony Davis. I'm also getting ready for some snow, too. Psych. Although, I wouldn't mind having a, a, a snow day or three. About, uh, about a halfway there. I think they're offering Tatum and uh, some other kid and probably a draft pick for Davis and someone else. Super, two, uh, Super Troopers officially coming out for 20? The first Super Trooper was fucking hilarious. Hey, Randall. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to pop up in Denver randomly. And I got your information, too. I got your phone number. I'm going to call you. Be all random. Be like, yo, Uncle Jesse here. What's up, dog? Where my brownies at? You know, be like, Uncle Jesse, who the fuck is that guy? Oh, playoff football. What have you got for us? That dual auto for the Lions was pretty nice. Can you do something cool like that for the people? A little one on one action, maybe? Doug Martin of the Bucks, 99. Oh, dude, I'll crash on the couch for show, no doubt. But uh, my main thing, I, it'd be cool to go with, like, a, you know, see the, see the sights with a local. Dan Marino to 299 for the Dolphins. Oh, man, I know what I'm doing on 420. I'm going to the movies. And I got to I gotta wear some Capri shorts. Not Capri shorts, the cargo shorts. So I could just stuff them with uh, McDoubles and shit. Miles Garrett to 49 for the Browns. You know we don't, you know we don't pay for them uh, concession stands when I could just go to McDonald's and sneak it in? Dwayne Smoot 
Three out of ten for the Jags. That's actually a good card. That's a good card. There's a Coors Brewery Tour. I'm mailing you some peanut butter and coffee. Ask CBJ. <laughs> I'm going to take that for what it is, as in we're literally mailing you some peanut butter and coffee. Are you for real? I would ask CBJ, but he's probably tending to his lady, you know. To 49, Ben Roethlisberger. Steve. Actually, I think today was the baby shower. So he's probably... Uh, Oh, now I get it, K-Daisy. Now I get it. Took me a while because I'm slow, but I got it. To 189, Rashawn Lynch, Amari Cooper. I probably don't. I just like to say that I do and then keep it moving. All right, that's it for that box. We're halfway through. Five more. Coors Brewery Tour. That'd be kind of cool to, 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 to see that. Truth be told, man, I kind of want to go hiking out there. In Colorado, see see some mountains and stuff, man. See the sights, because in Miami, you see a hill, and it's like, oh, my God, it's a hill. What is nature? What is life? What have I been doing this whole time? Yeah, a little bit of rain comes down. Oh, we got floods. Oh, we can't go nowhere. Got to wait for the water to get drained or for the fucking hot-ass sun to evaporate everything. Uh, what's up, Scuba Steve? Uh, no Bengals or Falcons just yet, but we still got time to unleash the fire. Speaking of mountains, uh, I was reading an article earlier today about people that passed away trying to scale Mount Everest. And uh, did you know... That they do not remove the bodies from Mount Everest if you pass if you die, you know either on your way up or on your way down from the Mount Everest. They don't even bother removing your body. Apparently, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of bodies all throughout Mount Everest. Buffalo Bill's grave is at the top of Mount Everest? All right, Fitzy, have a good night, man. Thank you for everything. Rara, -ra, it's up there, man. It's seriously up there. Not in the hundreds of thousands, but it's like 2,000 bodies. Oh, lookout mountain, gotcha. No, I'm talking Mount Everest, bro. I'm going I'm going to the to the to the head honcho. What do we have here? So Mike for Ryan to 149 for the Redskins. I kinda always kinda wanted to like do that, climb Mount Everest. But then, you know, having read the article, like, oh you know, you can still be exposed to like uh what's that called? Frostbite within a matter of like Within minutes. And I'm cool on that. To 199, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown. I beg to differ, Ra Ra. I beg to differ. I think humans have been stupid enough for a long enough time that there are plenty of bodies on Mount Everest. But it's been so long that, you know, they probably have just uh, been frozen to the landscape as well. And you don't even know it. Uh, no, Binga Binga 24. If you read the description of the listing, 
you would know that it's at 1 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, my dude. And it is now 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, <laughs> it's going to be a while until we do T-shirt basketball. The 299 Terrell Davis Broncos. So, if you want to take a nap, hey, I don't blame you. The 99 Mitchell Trubisky Bears. I can't help myself, Kate Daisy. I can't help myself. Nothing there. It's already been done. I don't know, man. It's kind of cool to say, yo, I, I, I scaled Mount Everest, dog. I went to the tippy top. I shouted, Yvonne Drago! Because that's what I would do. And then I came back down, chilling. You know, I wouldn't even go back down. I would, like, try to, like, parachute down or something. I don't know. Paris, paraglide or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of those flying squirrels or something. That'd be kind of cool. To me. Cool to me. Jai to 49 for the Dolphins. Just, just to have those bragging rights. And you're right. It's absolutely selfish. What? You know, you're chilling, talking shit, and, you know, all of a sudden, someone's like, so what's the coolest thing you've ever done? And you just all nonchalant be like, well, there was that one time I scaled Mount Everest, you know, you know, whatever, no biggie. And they're going to be like, what? You scaled Mount Everest? And you're like, yeah, you know, just, just a mountain, it's, it ain't no big deal. That would be like the only time it's cool to like take a selfie from the top of Mount Everest. Selfie, boom. Yeah, I was there. You don't need to do shit to talk shit. This is true. This is true. And then when somebody asked me why, why would you scale Mount Everest? My response would be like, cause I can, bitch. <laughs> oh, and then the room goes wild. He just said he does it, he do it because he could. Oh my god, the balls on that guy. And I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you know, whatever, no big deal. I don't know if I would yo see now that I would never now now you're talking crazy, Tomas. Pulling a stranger off in the top of Mount Everest. I'm pretty sure yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure it'll fall off. That is what I'm not risking. Oh, hell no. All right, I'm almost done with this. This is true. That'd be like... The highest load ever done from the top of Mount Everest. Blah. You shoot that thing, and you, you, you shoot it from across the cliff, and then boom, it just, boom, gravity takes effect, and it shoots down. And I don't know what happens from there. Good luck getting it up from the lack of oxygen. Why, why, you, got, why you gotta get all scientific on this thing, man? Let, let your boy dream. Marlon Mack to 25 for the Colts. Let your boy dream, dog. What else? What else? What else? To 199, Dak Prescott Cowboys. It becomes an ice projectile. Hell yeah. What? I... I don't know, actually, this was different, not my editors, but similar to the cold, I kind of, I'm curious to know, I know this was a movie, and it was a really dumb movie at that, but I thought it was plausible, like how, remember when Bobby Boucher had that, like, special flask of water that was always cold, that he got it from, like, some shaman from Antarctica or something like that, I kind of want that. Steve Young, Niners to 299. 
Well, Rara, thank you for uh, for bumming me the fuck out. The 99 Troy Aikman Cowboys. It was from a glacier in Alaska. That's what it was. And that thing was like high quality H2O. But it was like hella dark blue too. And it was always cold. Now I'm no scientist here. But I don't think that's possible. But if it would. That would be cool. You know I, I come down from the mountain. A brand new man. And I just, I got a little flask of water on me all, at all times. And they're like, bro, where'd you get that, dog? Bro, you can only get this from the tippy top, man. From the tippy top of what? From the tippy top of that mount, dog? What mount? What you talking about, fool? I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about Mount Everest, man. You didn't do that. And then I take the flask out. And I put, I pour a drop on somewhere, on, on, on like, on any part of their body. And instantly it freezes. Boom. To ninety nine, Ryan Tannehill. I would, I would pour cold water all over this guy. Tired of this guy. Water sucks. That is a lie. Gatorade is good, but water is way better. Gatorade H two O. Gatorade. Almost done, folks. Almost done. You know what I'm really curious about, though? The ocean, man. I was watching a documentary, and Homeboy said, like, we've only discovered, like, I'm paraphrasing here, but I think his number was, like, 20 to 30 percent of, of the ocean, which I, I like to think that that number's a lot lower than that. Probably less than 10 percent. Maybe I'm not giving humans enough credit, but there's probably some really cool stuff underwater, and we don't even know. What if Godzilla's just down there chilling? You know what I'm saying? What if there's like a, a race of mermen down there? Or what if the aliens are hiding in the water, huh? Apparently there's like different races of, of, of aliens. One of which are water peeps. Right, in the Mariana Trench, what if there's like some crazy shit beneath that, man? Like, we haven't explored anything. Like, every day we find new things from the ocean, man. So, yo, like, I was watching a document. I love watching documentaries. Uh, there was one I was watching about the ocean, of course. And it was specifically, like, deep water. How you, there is no light. There is no light. Complete darkness. So there are animals, there are creatures that literally light themselves on, on like, they, they light themselves up, bioluminescence. And that, I just think that's really cool, man, how animals can adapt to those conditions underneath all that pressure, and they can still survive. Like, that's ridiculous, man. Well, I did one on one and here it is. Steve Grogan, one of one for the Patriots. Nah, it wasn't Ancient Aliens, although I have seen that. I, I, I know this, Rara, I know this. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think it's so cool that there are organisms that do live in those conditions. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty awesome what uh, organisms can get themselves accustomed to like there's bacteria that can survive in in extremely hot temperatures like near lava and shit Curtis Samuel Panthers to 299 didn't think your boy knew some stuff did you
What do we got here? We got Luke Keekly one of one. What? Damn. That's a nice card. That is a nice card. Mandela Effect. I've never heard of that. I need to Google that. Game Day Signature for the Panthers. Luke Keekly. That's a good card. That might, uh, that might uh, end up on the Insta Tweets. Okay, Daisy, I might just do that. I find that funny. You're in the room and <laughs> and a Panther player comes out. Crazy. The 299 for the Niners, Ronnie. Lutt. Oh wow. It's a true 101, guys. Not only does it say it on the card, but it is a concussion signature. He signed that shortly after a concussion. That's a true 101 right there. What else we got? Christian McCaffrey with a patch to 49 to go along with his autograph. Sounds good, Angelo. Let's get it. To 189. Devontae Freeman. Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. Two one ones in this uh, half case. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Threads is at midnight. So, in uh, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So, get your popcorn ready. Certified is at 1 in the morning. That's more like 2 hours from now. Okay, Tomas, I, I got you. I got I follow. Speaking of which, I have yet to see that new Star Wars movie. I think I might watch it tomorrow. Like I said earlier today. Even if I go by myself, I don't care. I, I really want to watch it. Oh. How fast does a human, like, how many feet per second can a human being fall? I think it's like 32 feet per second or something like that. He does say, Luke, I am your father. What are you talking about? I'm trying to remember the scene where he's like, no, it can't be. And then Vader's like, search your feelings and you'll know this to be true. Or something like that. I'm pretty sure he's like, I am your father. Are you for real? I'm going to have to watch that scene right now. Well, not right now, but you know. Chris God went to 49 for the Bucks. That's actually a pretty sweet auto. Damn, you, you blowing my mind right now, Tomas. No, I am your father. He might have been your father, but he wasn't your daddy. 
Bro, I swear to God, I cried like a little bitch when that when that dude when Yondu said that shit in Guardians of the Galaxy. I cried. I'm not even gonna lie. He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy. That's some real shit. Forty nine hundred forty nine, Paul Horner, Packers. Oh, okay, now I understand what you're saying. You're correct, Tomas. Actually, I'll give you another one. Do uh, you remember Sinbad? I know you remember Sinbad, the, the, the comedian. Uh, do you remember seeing him in a movie where he was a genie? And the movie was called, like, Kazam or Shazam or something like that? You're, d does anything that I'm saying sound familiar to you? So then, yeah, that movie does not exist, apparently. A movie where Sinbad is a genie, that movie does not exist. And Sinbad has even come out and said, yeah, I don't know where people are, like, this is like, that's like an internet thing, but he never made a movie where he was a genie. And I swear to God, to this day, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a movie with Sinbad where he was a genie, kind of like how Shaq was. And the movie was called, like, Kazam or something like that. But that's, like, one of those... I, I don't want to call it an urban myth, but kind of like... A, I guess that would maybe me... I don't know if that's a Mandela effect kind of deal. See, everybody swears they seen it. But that movie never existed, apparently. Which begs the question, how did we all see a movie that does not exist? Google it right now. Google it. Sinbad Genie movie, and you're gonna see like a bunch of shit on it. To 49, Andy Dalton, Bengals. I like these conversations. Conversations that make my make my brain hurt. Which is not too hard. To 289, Larry Fitzgerald, Cardinals. Uh Beats by Dre or Beats by Dr. Dre? Hmm. That one, I'll be honest, I'm not too sure. Mainly because I've never, I don't really watch TV. I don't have cable anymore. Uh, I really only use Netflix and Hulu and streaming services, things like that. So I don't really see commercials like that. Uh, but I'm going to guess Beats by Dr. Dre. Uh, Scuba Steve, if I'm not mistaken, Veteran Base has its own spot. So, if you got the Panthers, for example, you get the rookies, the inserts, the autographs, the relics. Uh, what did I say? I said rookies, inserts, autos, relics, and any numbered cards for, the, for your team. But, the veterans, you do not receive. Those go to their own separate lot. Beats by Dr. Dre. Is that, is that what I said? Mandela effect. I like that. I like that. I'm going to have to look into that. Since we're talking trippy shit, uh, I'm, I'm very fascinated in like the occult, not going to lie, but I'm also fascinated. I'm pretty, I'm fascinated on a lot of shit. Uh, but what I'm going to say is, damn it. I lost my train of thought already. Need to lay off that stuff. I'm seriously, I, can't, I cannot remember what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about uh, Deja Vu. Apparently, Deja Vu is like a pa you ex you're, you're seeing yourself from a past life or something like that. You're experiencing something from a past life, and that's why everything seems so like familiar to you. Deja vu. 
I've also read like theories that Deja Vu was like there's like a time travel effect kind of deal. I don't know. All that stuff is trippy. Or as everyone likes to call it, stoner talk. Dude, bro, like, what if we, like, dumped all the water from, like, the earth into the sun? Would it, like, turn the sun off, bro? <laughs> bro, is the is the moon, like, made of cheese, man? Tyreek Hill to 299 for the Chiefs. But I see the autograph there just staring at me. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. The 25 Ronnie Harrison Patriots. The autograph is Josh Jones for the Packers. Number 299. There you go. Very nice. What else? Yeah, the whole flat earth kind of deal. I don't know what to believe anymore, man. Cameron Sutton to 299 of the Steelers. Like, that. my whole thing with that is, man, like, people, bro, like, you got the money. Go, go get on a plane or something and go in one direction and, and let me know if you arrive to the, at the same point at some point. That means you went around, <gasps> which means you're on a sphere, because you didn't hit the edge, did you? When I was little, I used to think that. I was like, oh man, you know, there's the edge of the earth, and it's like, there's like this giant waterfall. To 99 of the Bills, LaShawn McCoy with a patch. But that whole thing is kind of ridiculous to me, man. Like, I feel like to me, it's common sense that we're on a sphere. And it's not a flat plane. To 199, Charles Woodson of the Raiders. And that's it for the break. That was something. You ain't lying, Travis. You ain't lying. Now I'm starting to hear theories that gravity doesn't exist. Like, man, what? Whatever. Everything's fake news. There are the patches. And let's recap the autos. Don't, uh, don't have to do any randoms here. But to start things off... We had a Steve Grogan of the Patriots 101. That's kind of cool. Josh Jones, Auto, Packers, Godwin Bucks, Mac, Colts, Smoot, Jags, Jones, Packers, Reddit Cardinals, a Christian McCaffrey, Panther Auto, and a one of one Keekly Auto for the Panthers. And uh, not to mention. Dual Auto, 10 out of 10, Matthew Stafford and Megatron. For the Lions, that's pretty sweet. And that, my friends, was 2017 Playoff Football Half Case, number 13, eBay style. Thank you all very much. We'll get that right out to you.